It's probably the Stonehenge. Okay, where should we go to next? Should we do the spiders? Let's do the spiders. Let's see what's in there. Let's break this apart. This is some strong spider webs. Alright, that's that's definitely a trap. This is a trap if I've ever seen one. This is a trap. Oh, it's a trap. Oh, there's a dire spider. Uh oh. Oh god. Uh, I probably should have prepared myself for this. I could have given myself a couple buffs. I need to get this dire spider out. Oh well, damn it. We're gonna survive. Just barely though. Let's get this guy. Oh man, Judge Philip Banks. Okay, Perpin's poison too. We got any antidotes? What's the restoration? Oh wait, actually, just use some healing kits. Let's let's see if that works. There we go. Okay, cool. You've got some drainage. Oh crap! I only have one. Uh. Oh wait. Oh, I got lots of restoration. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Thank goodness. Thank goodness I kept these scrolls. I mean, I probably could have rested too, but... You know, probably find more. I, like, never use stuff. I'm the type of person that... I always keep everything, and then... I'm like, yeah, yeah I'll save it for the, the last leader. I'll save it for the leader. And then I just never use it. I'm like, oh, wow, I have a whole bunch of crap. I never use this entire game. Uh, Uthgard Burial Totem. Oh! This is an odd bluish gray statue of a large bear rearing up on its hind legs. Those with knowledge of the Uthgard Barbarians would instantly recognize this as an Uthgard burial totem taken from the stone stand, the infamous ancestral mound of the long dead Blue Bear tribe. It is believed that last shaman of the Blue Bear tribe, Tanta Hagara, summoned sir, uh, spirits of the long dead Blue Bear tribesmen to serve as guardians at the stone stand. These spirits were given the task of watching over the vast hoard of treasures that lies buried within the ancestral mound. Some say that anything takes from. Anything taken from these mounds threatens to come, call down the uh, wrath of the Blue Bear tribes, men who seek the return of the item to its place of origin. Wow, I love that it's one, one use per day. I'm using this all the time, bro. I am using this all the time. I'm putting this in my quick slots. I'm gonna put it at the top. I'm using that all the time. I gotta heal you because I'm pretty sure we're gonna rest later. So, what's what's going on over here? Oh, wait, it's another exit. Oh man, I checked that boat. Right, it was just a, it was just a bone there. I mean the skeleton. Pro oh man. Ooh. Let me get rid of all these webs. Judge Philip Banks doesn't like spiders. Oh god. Okay, luckily we didn't rest, because I'm pretty sure someone's gonna get poison here. Oh, maybe not. Oh, it's close. I got hit. Oh god. I need a better shield, too. I only got a large shield plus one. Man, look at this. Look at Reagan. Just clearing house. Okay. So let's let's just uh, see what's on this side. I'm still gonna stay on this map. I just want to see what this opened up. Ugh. Nothing. All right. So at least we got that way cleared. Then we can go to... Let's do that Twin Oaks. Oh, Jesus. Steel, 
Anytime now, guys. Alright. Didn't need any of your guys' help. Um. Which way was it again? This way? No. It wasn't this way, it was this way. Alrighty. Uh. Oh, okay. Spellcraft? The creeping vines have been enchanted by a very powerful druid. The vines can only be commanded when a certain password is spoken. L. Uh. Okay, well. I guess I have to. What is this bloody. Oh, the. Oh, yeah. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go in this cave. Is there another druid somewhere that I know? I have no idea. Should I rest? I already saved it actually. Let's let's just figure out what's here. If I need to rest, I can just reload and rest. What is this? Hello? Is someone gonna come out when I when I try to leave? Why is it empty? Alright. Is someone gonna come out? Alrighty, I that seemed kinda odd. I'm gonna leave now. Is nothing's gonna happen? Hmm. Okay. Uh, may maybe I'll have to come back. Alright, which one of y'all is the, uh... Oh, the Furnical, there you are. Hey, man. I'm just gonna t take out this kid's body from a, a bag. There's a backpack, a Jansport bag or something. Uh, yeah, yo, he dead. Uh... I'm gonna give it to you straight, man. Uh, a parent has a feel... Uh, for such things, you know. Did you bring my son's body with you? So I'm gonna, yeah, he's right here. Uh, what did I get? Fifty gold. All right. Well, uh, take care. See ya, man. Sorry about that. I tried, you know. Hey, man. Sometimes you kids always think you're invincible, but you're not. All right. Let's head back to. Uh, oh, I still gotta talk to Hevisar about that. All right, I guess we're going back to Liam's hold. I think. Oh, actually, let's let's uh, sell what we got. We'll do some selling here uh, real quick, and then we can head back. All right, finish selling everything. Uh, actually, wasn't that much, but cleared a little bit of space. I kept one of the armors because it was like a heavy armor, just in case if I need it. Uh, let's go back to Liam's hold. That must have been a long trip. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Oh, you guys! Oh! Yeah! That's what you were talking about. Completely forgot about you guys. Yeah, I remember meeting you guys. Alright, hey, guys, you gotta get out of here. Uh. Yeah, you guys gotta move on. Oh, great. That was easy. That. Thank goodness Judge Philip Banks is a good persuader. He's got 10. Alright. I really wanted to fight those guys. Those guys... They didn't seem that tough. Okay. So... We still gotta talk to this guy. Because this guy... What's his name again? I already forgot that guy's name. Um, that guy... That guy... Uh, convinced that drunk guy to help him. Uh, we'll talk to him after. Okay. Excuse me. Let's go to... I guess we can go to Hevisar first. Oh. Crap. Oh, wrong. Oh, yeah. I thought I had to talk to you about this thing, though. The cattle rustling? With the goblins? Do you not want to talk about that? Are we just going to ignore that? I did all that work for nothing. All right. Excuse me, Twinkin. Hey, I finished. Uh, all right. I got 
A temple key. Oh my god, this is crazy, guys. Alright, so Liam Hold is my place. Should call it Banks Hold. Alright, we'll get to that after, though. Let's uh, give this thing to this lady. This little component thing. Gonna save it real quick. Alright. Yeah, here you go. It's one of my older inventions, but rather useful, I expect, for the adventuring type. Color ring? What's that? Ooh. Oh, man. Ultravision, searing light, and color spray. If only, if only if I was a bar wizard and sorcerer, that would have been extra nice. Um, yeah, I'll say, oh, maybe I should have talked to that guy first. Uh, it's the only word of one drunken villager against the major has put enough to cross me for it. Alright. Yeah, should I confront him? Um, yeah, I'll see what he says. Alright, let's 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 check it out. Let's see what this guy has to say. That's, this is going to be a good fight if I actually have to fight him. Should I take my sword and shield out? Should I take my my gavel out? Oh, he's only easy. Unless he has some weird transformation thing. Uh, hey, one of the villagers said you threatened him. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Because, uh... Oh. What? He did, he's not even gonna... What? Oh, okay. I think he tells the truth. Is this small town justice I smell on the horizon here? Guilty as charged, no witnesses, no alibi? Well, you... You're not even giving me any other information. I don't know how to... Oh, okay, well... That's true, Judge Philip Beck, the law will protect you for now. You're lucky. Dealing with you primes is always more trouble than it always... I should have... Oh, okay. Oh, here's some weird, uh... Here's some weird, uh, like... Didn't we f face one of you guys before? It was like a slad? Uh, let's let's find out. Foolish weakling stumbling upon like infants to his plans without knowing the dangers that lurk here. Dangers like me. Uh, bring it on. Okay, let's let's. Okay. Strange gargoyle. Ooh, we could. Oh, a rakshasa. Oh God, he's impossible. Uh. Okay. Challenging. Oh god, this, this is gonna be trouble. Oh wait, he's almost dead already. Oh. Oh, get out of here! Get out of here! Oh, Perfin's gonna die. Oh, Perfin's gonna die. It's alright. Alright, you're down, but not out. You're fine. Stop complaining. Maybe we should get one guy together. There we go. Why are you not doing any good damage? Oh, are you? Oh, maybe... Oh, they got damage reduction. Yeah, okay. Alright, get up. You're fine. You're fine. Get up. These gargoyle skulls? Oh, no. Alright, Vohone. Vohone. He was not impossible. I don't know what you're talking about. Judge Philip Banks handled that easily. Okay. And a helmet. He needs a helmet. That's the only thing he was missing. This is nice. Okay. Alright, that, that was pretty... Uh, that was a little easier than I expected. I haven't even used like any of my spells. I've only been using the first level spells. 
That's how easy it's been. Whoa, and there's a light show now. Whoa. The George Philip Banks is, is walking in. Uh, oh, this is how they're dancing. They're just dodging. Alright. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got it. Uh, it seems that Vahoni had been consumed by some hideous creature on his travels. Through the planes, this creature had taken his form, although I had no phone close to which I stopped touching the device here. Hey, thanks. Uh, who knows what this creature should want to sabotage the phantom bullets, sir? Perhaps when it consumed Vahoni, it also took on his passions and fears and became obsessed with Vahoni's jealousy. Oh, maybe. Uh, yeah, hey, no problem. Alright. So she said, uh, there's anything uh, she can do for me? I, I would have been like, hey, I need some better equipment or something. Okay. White glove. Whoa. Uh, okay, can I, like, rest? How do I rest? Can I get a room? I need to sleep. Okay, let's check out Yano. Who are you? I greet you and that is the last thing I shall be doing. I believe you are about to leave. From the look of you, it is quite clear that you would not be staying in the finest suite. Yo, are you? Uh... Yeah, p you pompous fool. I should kill you right now. <laughs> is that guy important? Uh, let, me, let me load it. I, sorry, I just... That, that was like the... Uh, um, the imagination scene where something happens and then you know it, it cuts back to me standing in the exact scenario but I don't actually do it all right what are you doing um, are you a traveling merchant she's the purveyor of marvelous items and fine perfumes uh, yeah isn't this dingy bar I pass this way quite often to meet with Lashar oh you, you guys know each other and everyone knows uh, Ivani. Oh, she's Rashad. Oh, wow. Are you one of the witches? Oh. She was a bodyguard. Um, skilled assassin might defeat me, so I'm useless. That role is better suited to the young and the quick. Alright, what, kind of, what kind of stuff are you selling? You got a judge's robe? Alright, I'll just be on my way. Nice doing business with you. Can I talk to you? Oh, not you. Newly, I'm on to you. Someone stole. You're, you're, you're part of the thief, aren't you? Alright. Oh, wait, 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 wait. And we'd like to have a star again. Uh, yeah, she gave me the keys. Sent word to the shepherds to the west, and they expect your presence any day now. Oh yeah, I was there already. Nice, and I leveled. Uh, yeah, maybe so. I do not like the sound of this master either. But do you know I have a lead that may prove interesting to you? Do you remember Gaslo? Who's Gaslo? Sure. <laughs> yeah, I remember him. No, I don't. Um, he was here while you were away, in fact, and he had a worrying tale that I... What? A worrying tale to tell that I believe ties in with your discoveries. Well, wow, that's a lot of teams. Some of the shepherds have reported seeing shadowy forms moving around at nighttime, and to be honest, I had connected it with animal rustlers. But I have now received a report from Gaslow that the creatures are orcs. How are you confusing shadowy forms with orcs? Orcs are huge. Didn't I put an end to this? Were they orcs? I don't know. No, they were goblins. Okay, now, yeah, okay. He's observed orcs several nights in a row. We have another lead. Okay. Uh, okay, Gaslo has returned to the wild pastures. You'll find him with the other shepherds. Okay, so I gotta go back there. Okay. Let, let me just look at my new uh, courthouse first. 
Oh, actually, I got a level too. Let me level up real quick. Okay. Let's head on over to the new base. Let's check it out. See what we got. Oh god. What is gonna happen? Oh, Ast oh Astriel! Oh hey! How did you get here? Uh, yeah, how the hell did you get? <laughs> how did you get in here? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, get revealing. Spent a little time around the village getting my face known, taking meals at the inn, and so on. Wait for the mayor to pop out. Oh, secretary uh, Twinkin, I have a message from the mayor. Do you remember? Uh, well, no, here's someone you should get that. Oh, okay. So she, she assumed the role of secretary Twinkin. All right. Okay, yeah, so what's up? I, I, let's get the small talking out of the way. Um, yeah, I'm here. Um, great news? Is it? Seems that we are to be a team again. Uh, we did so well back then. I think it's wonderful. Okay, so we're teaming up. Are you going to join my team or not, man? Like, uh... Uh, yeah, I, I had some good times. Yeah, sure. Why not? I could tell we were going to be a team to be feared once more, and I'm confident that together we'll get to the bottom of whatever scheme is being hatched in these parts. Are you on my team, or are you like a... Are you like an imposter? Are you third imposter? Um, what do you know about this place? Removing the boulders, blah, 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 blah. Seriously, this place used to be a temple to Baal. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, okay. It was only after the gods walked the land as mortals and the monks mysteriously disappeared that the temple's true dedication was discovered. A bard adventurer from Waterdeep it was who led uh, the first team of adventurers in here. Something like that. Yeah, I, I don't know about that. I don't know about living in a temple where it was all about, all about murder. I mean, I'm, I'm all about that, but Judge Philip Banks is not all about that. Something's not quite right about the basement of this place. Uh oh. What do you mean not quite together? Uh, you know by now that I like to go with my intuition and try to listen to whatever it tells me. I thought maybe I heard sounds coming down from there. Nothing definite. Just, oh, okay. Is there a ghost in here? Anything else you notice? Yeah, the roof. I wanted to go in the roof. Uh, are you on my team? No, you're just gonna stand here then? Uh, what should I do now? Oh, okay. Uh, alright. I'll be here if you need me. Why don't you just go? Jeez! Yeah, whatever. That's a cool looking trench coat though. Okay, so... Uh, I guess... Like, how, how do I clean this place up? Oh, this is the roof. Oh, sick. This is pretty cool, guys. Okay. Just getting used to the lay of the land here, you know? Where, where I'm going to put my, you know, bathtub and... Okay, we got the beds there. We got a communal area there. Let's check out upstairs here. Is this just one big map? No, it's not. I don't like that. Oh god. Jeez. And there's just pure necromantic scrolls. Oh no, actually no, no. We got some got some divine stuff here too. Oh okay, alright. Bull strength. We got the treaties of suffering. That doesn't seem like a good spot. <laughs> this doesn't seem like a good book to have in a uh, court of law. I'll probably keep that there though, because I don't need it. Oh, we got the master bedroom. We got the priest robe. Got a gold ring. I'll take the ring. We'll leave the robe there. We got the Zatum's journal. 
This appears to be the journal of the Temple of Baal's High Priest. Most of the book can, uh, details the grueling ritual activities of the clergy over a number of years leading up to the time of troubles. Only the last few entries seem to be of interest. 1358, Chez 13. I think that's uh, the equivalent of March. Is that right? I don't know. I can't remember. Uh, as I public sacrifice the buzz, blah, 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 blah. Burn in the town square under the guise of a witch. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't have to read through all this. I just want to return with five children. I wonder if this has to do with... Uh... Actually, I'm guessing not. maybe not. I was going to say if it has to do something with Boulder's Gate or something. I don't think there was a Liam's... Was it called Liam's Hold or was it called something else? Anyways. Do I need this? I didn't get a... Uh, I didn't get a... Uh, um, what am I trying to say? Uh, an update on my quest for that book, so I'm assuming I don't, I don't need it. Alright, that's the only thing locked. It's gotta be something good in here. Give me a judge's robe. Oh, black hammer. I think I have all the pieces now. Flail heads. Oh. Oh, wait. I already got a hammer. Oh, man. Where is it? F glowing flail head. I guess I need, like, the shaft still. I don't know. Well, I guess I guess we can try it. I'll I'll tr I'll try going back to that dwarf that forges stuff. Maybe maybe those are the only two pieces I need. I don't think so, but I can just cut that out if I don't. If uh, if it doesn't work, I'll do that after though. Let's let's check what's down here. Should I buff myself? Oh wait, I don't even have. I, I have to rest for this. Oh, 12 hours. Okay, yeah. Might as well just buff myself right now. Alright. Let's let's go. Let's check it out. What does Aura of Glory do again? Okay. Cool. Oh, boy. Uh-oh, cutscene. There's a guy down here this entire time? It's an elf with a freaking goatee. Oh, he got a skeleton arm. We got the symbol of Baal. Okay. Oh. Are we fighting? Oh, it's tomb. Hey, man, I found your journal. Oh, God, he's impossible. Okay. Let me just... Give you protection from evil. Let me check these bones out first before I talk to Zatum. Alright. How did you not... Oh, I was going to say Astriel. I guess she actually never went down the stairs to, to get here. This man's pale face and chest are covered with raw open sores that s slowly leak pale red blood. Uh... He died. Impossible. Ball's prophecies speak only of Ball's unending glory. I, Zatum, bear witness to Baal's power, for I have awaited Baal here in this dark temple for many years, sustained only by my undying faith. Bah! I know nothing of this so-called time of troubles. Uh... What is he asking me? I have lived alone in these dark halls for years, sustained only by my faith in Almighty Baal. Each day, I have prayed faithfully, but Baal does not respond. I require blood sa Don't look at me like that. The Lord of Murder demands murder. Before Lord Ball's silence commenced, our temple was raided by a disguised collaboration of human and elven invaders. They were repelled at some cost to the temple structure and its glorious servants, but my spies informed me that their leader was mortally wounded and crawled off to die somewhere around this pitiful village. Ball fell silent before the pursuit of this individual could continue, and our priorities changed, but perhaps Lord Ball would be appeased by writing this wrong that hangs over us. Oh god, I gotta find this dude? Uh, what if I don't want to do it? Uh-oh. I might have to load it. Okay. 
There is a lot of guys here. Let me back away. Oh, I'm getting hurt a lot. Okay, all right. We might have to use uh I got to use something. Oh, I oh, I got to use the totem. Okay, let me heal myself first. Hold on. Okay, let's do one more. And then we'll use this. Come forth. I got my own undead, son. Where are you going? Jesus, he ran the other way. Oh, God. Okay, I got to use that potion to heal. I got to use it. The gods are with me this day. Perpin's gonna die, but that's okay. That, he's my distraction. Man, this guy is tough. He made me use one potion of heal. That's... I don't want that. Anytime now, guys. Please kill him. Please kill him. Okay. So now that he's dead, here's what I'm gonna do. Where is that rod that I had? Let's use that. I'm going to try to turn on dead real quick. There we go. Alright, we're cool, guys. Everything is A-OK. -okay. I'm going to bring you back to life. Keep up the good fight. Probably should have used that... Uh, Use that rod before we started. Uh, that's all right. All right, I, I could have got, I could have done that fight a lot better. I mean, I could have summoned it early on. I could have summoned the skeleton early on, so we had four people fighting right away. Um, but you know, I'll, I'll try to make this playthrough fairly, uh, fairly respectable. You know. Don't have to keep reloading it if I don't do everything correctly. Okay, fortification plus two. Hey, that's pretty good. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. You guys want this? Here, you can take this. Or what kind of cloak do you got? Oh, you got protection. For yeah, you can keep that. You can wear this one. This doesn't make any sense that he still has the purple cloak, but now he's got a white cloak. He's wearing two cloaks. Uh, carved out of solid metal, a thin grasping hand with uh, talons, the sharpest spikes, reaches out of balls, altar, stone. Almost as if a hideous beast was trapped within and attempting to claw its way to freedom. Whoa. Damn it. What if I destroy this? Oh, alright, doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, well, I guess that's it. I kind of wonder what happened if I uh, were to sacrifice that, you know, body that he's uh, he was looking for. Maybe would have gotten something good, but you know, Judge Philip Banks don't work like that. Uh, let's just rest here. That was a fight. That was a fight. Thank God I got this thing. I'm gonna start using that all the time. All right. All right, yeah, I got the problem. Uh, yeah, there's a priest of Baal in there, man. I hope you have dealt with this matter suitably. Uh, yeah. All right, that was that. What that was it? You're not even gonna like. Oh, okay. All right, so that was uh, that wasn't even a quest. Jeez. Shadows in the field, Asho takes flight. Okay, uh Is there a uh Is there a merchant here, like an actual merchant? Xandar merchant? I wanna get this hood I I mean this helmet identified. Alright, well 
turns out the helmet wasn't that useful, but I'm wearing it anyways. It's polymorph. So that should be fun. I don't know if those would be if those would like work out in most of these combat situations, but yeah, I guess I can try it out. All right, let's head back to uh, uh, Wild Pastures. Let's head back to Wild Pastures. Oh, there, former gas. Oh god, the bull again. The bull. The snorting bull. Okay. All right, we can stop it here. The goblin cattle. When we were in that cave, that I remember I forgot something, so I had to go all the way back around. And it was one of those weird creatures was holding it. Okay. Mr. Dimples. I know it's Dimpit. Sure is a mighty honor to have such a noble and handsome arrow with us here in our humble dwellings. Um, helping the common folk is a matter of... That sounds a lot like Judge Philip Banks. Oh wait, what's going on here? Please tell me where you saw these coming. Wait, didn't I already finish this though? Uh, I'll just say it's the first one. I've spoken to the over shepherds to save you the work if it pleases you. No one has seen anything suspicious during daytime, only at night. Everything's happened by down by the river, my lord. A little way southeast of the area, see? You'll know the spot when you find it, like. There's a skull of some beast like- Oh, uh. Oh, wait, a dragon, I expect. Wait, it was southwest of here? What was southwest of here? Okay, apparently I do know, though, it's a dragon. Uh, I wouldn't know other dragons. Giant turnips. Uh, just that incredibly efficient at converting food into body mass is all. Um, does that sound like an Uncle Phil thing? Uncle Phil would be like, mm, yeah, sure. Alright. Whatever you say, Carlton. Uh, thank you for all the help. I will start my search. I have no idea what's happening here. I thought I was... I thought I was... Uh... I thought I was like turning in a quest, but I'm, I've met Gazlo, not the sharpest blade. Alright, let's go south of the uh... Oh, here we go. Oh, behind. Oh, here we go. Where's my team at? Why are you guys so slow? Why are y'all walking? Behind the dragon skull. The skull is all that remains of some gigantic draconian creature who died here. What's behind here? Mysterious shadow is moving through the fields at night. Set up camp. I guess we'll set up camp. Maybe I should have saved it first. Let's quick save it. Yes. Alright, let's make camp, guys. Uncle Phil declares camp. Oh, after a few hours, something interesting happens. What could be interesting? And I'm getting tired. Did you guys see that? Oh, orcs. Orcs! They're like they're like tiptoeing. I'm just seeing orc tiptoe. Tanaruk. Is that what these are called? What are these called? Which way we go now? That way, boss. That way, boss. That's how orc. They have an underbite. Or I guess maybe could they have an overbite? Or is that just vampires? Oh no, we lost again. Oh, they all look at me. Fools, I'll f feed your tongues to the wargs. Oh wait, they are gonna talk to me. A spy? Oh boy. Okay, let me pause it real quick. I am only... Okay, uh... What does this do again? Outsider. Um... Are Tanaruks outsiders? <clears throat> Whoa, I uh, just turned into a six-year-old child just then. Let's go bull strength. Actually, let's make sure we're equipped first. There we go. No one seems to be moving yet. Quick time, quick time. Oh god. Reagan. Oh, 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 we got a shaman. Get the shaman. Eyes on the shaman. I got him. Don't worry, guys. Judge Philip Banks got the shaman. 
No, what are you doing? Casting is not allowed. Only I cast people. Or judge people, I should have said judge people. Alright, got his gavel out. Beautiful. See? See how good that bull strength does? Oh, did I, wait, wait, what happened? How did I lose so much? Did a spell hit me? What's going on here? Oh, by the way, I'm playing with a new UI. I've actually had this for a long time. The only thing is I never... I just stopped playing this. I stopped playing the campaign. I stopped recording it, at least. Evidence found in farmlands. From the forest, head north all the way to the human farm south. Scout, meet you there and take the rest of the way. Think your mother gave too much boiled slug when you baby made you into slug brain, so say this again. Travel only at night. Do not attack farmers or anyone else. There will be time for that when my master is ready. Who is the master, though? The mystery continues. Alright, let's see what it is. Um, what was I saying again? I had Yeah, I hadn't played this in a long time. Like Darkness over Daggerford. Shadows turn out to be more than so. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I just have to talk the thing now. Oh, I should once again report my success to Hevisar. What's up with Hevisar? I already forgot where Hevisar was, so I don't have to report back to the Shepherd. Out. Uh, I found where you said there were Gazlo, which were an interesting no getting into this. Okay. It was only orcs. My lord. Alright. Okay. So. I guess we can head back. If I can only remember where Heversar is. I just stepped on Poo twice. Alright, I do remember this This castle is mine too. The stronghold. Um, was I supposed to like do some upgrades or something? Who are you? Wait, you weren't... Were you always here? Hello. Who left the door open? <laughs> Guys. A large woman rushes up to you and waves her sweaty palms excitedly. Her face, her round face, is flushed red like a tomato as she gasps for breath. Her colorful dress, although cut from fashionable cloth, is a garnish blend of vibrant stomach-heaving hues. Whoa. Stomach-heaving hues. You must be the new proprietor of this charming abode, but even a simple man of- Yo, simple? Yo, you kinda simple. I'm no simp. <laughs> I'm not a simp. What'd you say to me? Uh, let's look at the old dusty, that dusty old stone is just so last week. I can only imagine how far, oh, she's, oh, she's an interior decorator. Makeover, um, what are you selling? Yanni Pavani, that's a great name. Only, uh, carries only the finest furnishings from all around Faerun, or at least whatever she can scrounge from the giant fire sales in Neverwinter's slum quarter. Nothing but genuine bargains will... You find in Yanni Pavani's wagon. Um, listen to her play. Oh, okay, yeah, they they don't want to talk about it. Oh no, does that maybe that doesn't happen yet? I don't even remember the timelines. My castle is a bit of a mess. How much is it going to cost? I must recall a wise saying from my homeland in Southern Am: "Good taste is priceless." But for a first client, first uh, first time client such as yourself, Philip, I will charge a mere five hundred gold. Oh. Okay. What's my praise? Judge Philip Bags, how good are you at bargaining? Four? Why not try it? Damn it. Alright. Alright, 500? That ain't. That's nothing. Judge Philip Banks is. Judge Philip Banks is rich, man! Come on, he lives in a mansion in Bel Air. Um. Oh, la 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 la. She brought a pile of broken stones. It's transformed into a beautiful country estate, circled by white. Oh, wow! Chilly at night, she strokes her dome and chin thoughtfully. Oh, 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 I know. Area rugs. Nothing covers a cold stone floor like a lovely, a lovely area rug. Now close your eyes and imagine a rug. No, imagine the perfect rug. Now open your eyes. What does your new rug look like? Oh, God. I'm not an interior decorator. Purple? Um. Oh, yellow oriental weave? I have no idea what that... No, sure. That was not the rug that Yanni Pivati imagined for your new castle, but I suppose I could cover your- Oh man, okay. You shall need a place to store copious piles of loot. Armoires are always in style. Yanni Pivati prefers a solid wooden piece with classic lines and just a hint of ancient Netherese influences. Uh... 
do have any coffins. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, give me some chests. Oh, the tragedy. Yanni Pavani. Moans with a startled gasp. Oh, the tragedy. You, Philip, have absolutely no sense of style. Oh, man. Do not talk about my sweater vests like that. Um, of course, no castle would be complete without the without a throne. Yanni Pavani imagines a grand purple throne crowned with displacer beast fur. Whoa. Stone, wood. Something with skulls on it. A stone throne? Stone throne Uncle Phil? <laughs> stone cold stone throne Steve Austin? Or... Um... A wooden chair still um, I guess stone I don't know if, I don't know if any of this is gonna look uh, appealing in any way okay somewhere pleasant to sit the gnomes of the yellow hills built build the most incredible dangle sit me doodles very what they're very much like chairs but with six arms and three legs Damn, who's that guy? I want to meet a guy with six arms and three legs. Maybe I have already. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, all I need is a table. Uh, just toss some cushions on the floor. Forget the signal. Let's talk about beds. Yo, why don't we talk about beds? That's a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Give me some. Give me some comfortable relax. Oh, jeez. Cute little package with pretty ribbons and bows. You know, I kind of want to try Earthy. I don't know how on par that is with Judge Philip Banks, but I for sure it ain't, you know, Dungeons and Whips or military theme. Let's get Earthy in here. Yanni Pavani has, is so pissed. Yanni Pavani will not stand this. Is it done? Thank you for answering my question. Yanni Pavani is finished with your castle. I last some of the rocks were too heavy to lift, so I worked their essential essence into my design. Yanni Pavani is truly marvelous. Is Yanni Pavani now? Go on, Yanni Pavani. Take a look for yourself. Yanni Pavani. Wait, Yanni Pavani must find one last piece to transform your old castle into a true art of work, Yanni Pavani says. Come back later and I'll tell you all, pa all Pavani about it. <laughs> all Pavani. Okay, let's uh, take a look. Everyone's tired. I know, it's been a long day, guys. I know. Oh, Reagan's bleeding all over the floor. I didn't even notice it. Damn! Damn, this place got... Yo, Astral, yo! And she's not even gonna talk about what just... Talk about all this cleaning up. Alright. Dope. Alright, can we... Should we put some stuff in here? I don't even know what to put in here. Okay, guys, we can rest. We can rest. Right, you guys are just exhausted. You guys are like slumped over. You guys want the master bedroom? Let's go to the master bedroom. Get you guys. I know. It's a pity. It's a damn shame. Um. Is this the right way? Oh no, this is the. Oh damn it. They're like slug at us. Slumped over. Oh, that's what this is. I'm exhausted. Oh, that makes so much more sense. Alright, oh god, I forgot about this. Alright guys, nap time. Uh -oh. Griswold's page. Please, good sir, you must come at once to the Blade Cliffs where my master, good sir Griswold, lay siege to Castle Exultus. Who? Uh... Castle Exultus. Uh, all right, tell me what you know. The beautiful Princess Soliana of Fanlock has been abducted by Lord Feldred, and my master Sir Griswold is questing to rescue the princess. But our siege fares poorly, and with each passing night, my good master grows sick with despair. This this one like one dialogue uh, window right here is like the most medieval. <laughs> The beautiful Princess Soliana of Fanlock has been abducted, abducted by Lord Feldren, and my master, Sir Griswold, is questing to rescue the princess. Like, good God. That's like the, 
the most like super D and D medieval quest ever, quest line ever. Yeah, why are you coming to me? Great tales of your many heroic deeds have flowed like spilled wine. Oh, ooh, keep talking, kid. <laughs> Judge Philip Banks loves what he's hearing right now. Uh, he is a, you know, he's a king in, in all regards. Having heard of your reputation, my good master Griswold entrusted you will help rescue the princess. I don't know who this. Um, okay, this is all a trick. All right, Clo let me close the door. Make sure none of y'all are trying to sneak into my place. I right, found a special item. Oh, okay, sorry. All right, and there he just vanishes. Let me talk to thing first. Let me talk to uh, Evis, sir. Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am, who are you, Jarek's lad? They took me, daddy. They took me, daddy. Who took your daddy? Orcs took him. All right, I'll see what I can do. I don't know what that was about. You able to observe the orcs? Uh, not only I observed them, I sliced their head off. Or I didn't slice it. I just knocked their heads in. Okay. Oh, he's uncle. Oh, I see. Let Philip Banks speak. Yeah. All right. Aren't you Jarek's lad? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Explain the Hevisar. It would appear that these creatures have not been following this master's instructions, or the instructions have changed. Uh. Yeah. What's going on? Take my daddy away. Oh yeah. That seems uh, awfully. That sounds familiar. It's almost like I've heard that 15 seconds ago. They ran off west towards the coast. Um, oh, this is probably the same band of works. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to promise anything. The orcs have uh, another base of operations somewhere in the area. If uh, you find it, I wager you find the prison. Okay. Hmm. Uh... So I, I've gotten two quests that both seem uh, like time constraint. They're like, you must hurry for both of these. So which one do I go to first? All right, let's see what's over here. Oh, how long did this take? How long was this trip? Oh, four hours, was it four hours? Oh, they're not even saying anything. All right. Oh, okay, it took six hours. Way to make me look stupid, game. To, to go up. Prefer to the sense on the ground, but grind a red sot. Retina suit. What? Retina. Red <laughs> Red sotner. Oh my god. Who the hell are you guys? Jenga? Zanga? Jenga? Cha. 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 And Beb Shooter. Who are you guys? Intellectual narcissism, okay. Pompous era philosopher, oh god. I'm not gonna like you guys, am I? Just gonna hang out here, huh? What's up? Tidings, citizen. You stand in the presence of Beb Shur, Master Theorosopher. He's a philosopher of Theo from uh, friggin' that Bill Cosby show. Uh, what is that? A philosopher theorizes on basic or on based what theorizes based on logic and empiricism. Theory of the, oh my god Theor Theor officers Theoro Theoro I don't even know how to pronounce that. Um, reductive reasoning and intuition? That sounds counterintuitive. Uh, okay, I, I honestly, I don't want to read this right now. Oh, wait, he's got an encampment. The encampment to our north. Alright. Oh, yeah, I see something right there. One sees a brightly colored tent with youthful men and women performing drills and calisthenics. It is qu quite obviously a traveling circus. A traveling circus? 
My initial assumption is traveling circus, so I use deductive reasoning to support this theory, since the that believe intuition is the key to understanding the true nature of the multiverse. What if your deductive reasoning leads you to a different assumption? What about science? Oh no. Okay, I think we're just gonna we're just gonna nod nod politely until they're done talking. Uh, oh god, now they're talking to each other. Do not speak of the master Vu. Vugu was the greatest mind of our age. Who the hell is Vugu? Okay, we'll just say what happened. He left us. Okay. He was filled with despair and leapt from these cliffs. To oh damn, he just jumped off. Is his body there? Doesn't look like it. A child standing nearby claims his last words were Theorosophy is for the birds. Okay. Alrighty. It's successful. It will prove your once of intuition and very shallow so far. Blah, 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 blah. Charlatan. Mountebank. Mountebank? I don't know. Um, oh, they're both gonna jump. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna let you two do whatever the hell you want. I don't care at this point, man. You. Jump off for all I care. Um, you know, obviously don't do that in real life, but if you're, you know, if you're those two, <laughs> you're, you're free. Go ahead. Let's see what's over here. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, hold on, let me save it. Let me just quick save it. Alright, I got. I like your guys' outfit. Earthy. That's what I wanted for my castle. Griswold Knight, Griswold Knight. You should speak with Sir Griswold in his tent, okay. You got Sir Griswold pitching a tent over here? Griswold, what's up, man? There's Paige. See that you have answered my summons. Griswold stands tall and lean, like a tree blown by bitter winds. His face almost entirely hidden by a great bushy beard, where is a permanent scowl. Rows of vernant bird cages are pushed up against the canvas tent walls, and the stale air is filled with noisy squawks. Um, why did you summon? You summoned me. Explain. I, I like number three, honestly. Uh, I'll just say why did you summon me. My siege of Castle Exultis fares poorly and my knights grow restless, but I cannot breach the castle walls and storming the gates is a fool's game. So why are you laying siege? I lay my life down before the only thing that matters, love. Griswold's eyes, dark eyes grow soft for a moment as he reminisces. Ah, oh, my dear Solania, we met last winter in Baldur's Gate. As the snow melted, so too did our hearts. All through the spring, our love for one another grew strong, stronger than the wind. When ain't that strong? Who is Soliana? She's both a woman of great beauty and of great mystery. She arrived late one cold winter's night in Baldur's Gate carrying little more than a chest filled with rare gems. She alone, she traveled alone but claimed to be a royal princess from the kingdom of Fanlock, wherever that might be. That, that name does sound familiar, Fanlock. Despite her unusual story, many knights compelled, competed for Soliana's hand in mirror. I can't read. My greatest rival was a young lordling named Feldrin Exultus. Okay. Poisoned her mind with lies. He turned her against me and stole her away from Baldur's Gate like a thief in the night. I have a feeling she's like, Griswold, you need to, you need to, you know, you need to let me go. I'm, I wasn't yours. I never was to begin with. Uh, yeah, where is she now? Okay. So she's in the castle. Um, yeah, what if she loves him more than you? Alright. He's in denial right now. Um Alright, what do you want me to do? If you want uh find a way to the lower castle Oh, to lower the castle drawbridge. Inside rampant walls near the gatehouse, but you would have to be a bird to fly over those castle walls. Okay, so just gotta turn into a bird. And we're good. Oh man. No animal empathy. 
I should have been a ranger. I should have been a ranger or a druid. Okay. Well. How do I, uh... I guess I can't just go straight in. That doesn't make sense. So I guess we gotta go around. What is this? Oh, it looks like a ship's mast. You know, if you guys had a catapult, you could just, like, catapult someone over this. Um, but let's see what's over here. Okay, so I guess this is the coast area from that other quest. Gravestone. Oh. Who died here? Who did? Oh, there's a tiny rat here. Are you are you that rat king that I fought before? What was his name? The inscription on this matter on this <laughs> on this grave marker. How did I get matter from grave marker? Um, Lady Exaltus, loving mother and noble. Ah, oh, I see. So uh, I guess the queen is that the queen? No, or whatever you know. Whoever, whoever. Uh, uh, the other exaltist guy is the mom, I guess. Can I read it from here? Okay. I guess I need to be a bird. What's this? A ship? Oh, window. Heavy planks of splintered salt stained wood surround this larger window in the old ship's hull. The window's thick tinted uh, glass is cracked in a thick layer of black around the scoops review. Uh-oh. Let me just get my sword and shield out. Okay. Oh, what's... Oh. Huh. This is like a Viking funeral. Without the fire. But there's like coffins in a, in a ship. Uh... Doesn't seem a good idea to open it, but. Bah! Nosferat. Two? Oh, he's the original Nosferat. <laughs> so the, and then the other one's Nosferat, too. Uh, visitor, please don't interest yourself. I am Abu Nasfir. Ib Whoa, okay. Whoa, I gotta start over. I am Abu Nasfir Ib Aten Ib Hazan. Ibn Hazan. A Abu Nas. <laughs> Abu Nasfir Ibn. Ibn? 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 Abu Nasir Ibn Aten Ibn has. Oh, there's two Ibns. Ibn? I don't know. Uh, which is Nasfirat. 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 If you have a moment, desperate need resistance. So, are you dead or alive? You're alive? Thick desert accent betrays his origins to be Zakara, the land of fate. Oh, he's very difficult. Oh, he's a vampire. Yeah, I'm a creature of the night, though I differ in subtle ways from the typical garden variety vampire. Uh, okay, let's 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 see where this goes. I do not slay innocents. I obtain succor from those who would do harm to others. In fact, in my native land of Zakara, I was often hired out by the Sultan to slay would-be assassins. The only payment I charged for my service was the blood of my victims. Ooh, I already like where this is going. And because my homeland is such a violent place filled with all manners of cutthroats, brigands, and nameless assassins. I never realized how many S's in assassins there were until you're just like looking at them. Like, good lord, like it's half the word is S's. Uh, the blood uh, supply would never run dry. Okay, so how did you get over here? After using my services to slay a rival noble, the Sultan chose to dispose of the murder weapon. Oh, that sucks. Torture community. Oh, I see. I was provided a ship and crew and ordered to leave the land of fate and never return. Still desiring to remain true to my credo of only slaying those tainted by corruption, I embarked for the Sword Coast, a place well known for its highway bandits and bloodthirsty pirates. But my vessel was caught in a storm and foundered on the jagged reefs that ring these lands. Not long after, a holy man came to investigate the shipwreck and discover my coffin. He ringed the ship with potent ritual stones, preventing my exit and resulting in a very slow and painful demise. Okay, so yeah, what about the other coffins? 
A wise vampire does not travel abroad with but a single place to rest his head. Though easily portable, coffins are also subject to the elements. Consider these other containers backups in... Ah, I see. Um, so where's the ship's crew? The ship will run aground. I would have perished as for many of such things. I see. Uh, okay, you want me to remove the stones? Destroy the ritual stones and the spell will be lifted. I shall then find a suitable new abode and resume my career as bounty hunter for some local official or militia. Huh. You know what? I'm feeling generous. This guy, I love, I love his mantra. I love this guy. He's like Batman, but a vampire. So I'm going to let him go. Sometimes you got to take justice into your own hands, sir. I, I get you. I get you, Nasferat. Um... Yeah, what, what about me? In my lands, a word, a man's word is an oath bond. Breaking such an oath and a curse is more terrible than the advisor. Okay. Oh, he's got trinkets? He got trinkies? Okay. Alright. Okay. Uh, I like this. Should I open these? I feel like you might be lying. I guess maybe I should have opened these ones first. Um, let me, uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, there are the rune stones. Oh, that's what he was talking about. Okay. I, I love his mantra, man. He's, he's like Dexter. I'm all for that. Uh, okay, should I? Maybe I should have kept that bow after all. I gotta use fire axes on these stupid rune stones. Oh god. Uh oh. Can't believe I'm wasting it on this. I'm assuming it's not the gravestone. That that wouldn't make any sense. Oh there. Oh god. Okay. Man, look at look at Judge Philip Banks' arm. Oh, look at this angle right here. Ooh. Ooh. He's good at pool and at throwing axes. Okay, now let's go back. All right, I got three. Is three enough? Okay. Ooh, I can be a Judge Philip Banks as a as a vampire. Uh, whatever you saw in Vana, it's a state. Oh, I, I really want to see how this goes. Uh, it is based on a man's word. It says I gave up my humanity when I gave it. Oh my god. Oh man. I just wasted throwing axes. And he's not even going to make me a, an actual vampire. Oh, guys. Okay, I'm gonna load it. What if I try to break it? Oh, come on now. Come on, game. Alright, yeah, let's murder this guy. Let me, uh... Oh, jeez, why, why, why didn't I... Okay. Alright, let's just, uh, choose some random stuff here. Um, and then, uh... All right, just give me. What's the attacking one? Oh yeah, sounds like the perfect end. All right. Okay. Uh. I'll I'll, I'll say the second one. It doesn't really matter. Oh what? Oh my gosh. Of course. Oh, you guys have no match. You guys did not know about us. I don't even have to do anything. Oh no. She got drained. Did you get level drained? Reagan? Oh no, you got level drained. No! Level drained. Not level drained. Ooh. 
I'm interested. I'm interested in seeing what that is. Okay. I need like a greater restoration for that. Um, which I'm pretty sure no one here has. So, you're gonna sp stick with being level 9 for a little bit. Until we get to a priest. Oh, I guess we can just talk to the priest that put those things down. Whoever that is. Whoever put these rune stones down. Alright. Um, I had no inclination to listen to the honey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right, I had no inclination. Uh, to vampire Nosferat put an end to his existence before he could involve me in any of his cunning schemes. Okay. So, that's done. Now, how the hell do I uh, get to that other thing? Get to the castle. Oh, wait, there's a cavern. I forgot about the cavern. Maybe it goes underground to, like, the dungeon of the castle. Let's find out, I guess. Alright, at least I can save over the. Uh... Oh, wait, is the. Oh, hold on. Hold on, let me just, uh, let me just open this map up, because maybe that'll show a different, uh, area, like a destination. Coast? Crab's Clock Coast, okay. I guess we'll stay here. Since we're already here, we might as well stay here. Okay, so I guess we'll just go into this cave, in hopes that it somehow brings us back into the castle oh jellies oh I know the jellies why am I not damaging any of them oh is it because oh, okay. all right easy enough look at this no one's gonna get touched I don't even have to I'm uh, um, hands free You guys are easy. Brigands like getting so much acid in all of our clothes. Tiny orca jelly. Uh oh. Oh. Perfect, I saved your life. You see that? It was coming at you. Stones. Alright, easy enough. Okay, let's look at these stones. Bullet. Don't need that. We're going down, down. Sugar, we're going down swinging. Something, then, 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 then. Cock it and bullet. It's bullet? I have no idea. Alright, more jellies. Okay. Easy enough. Some, Something's gonna be here. Something don't feel right here. What's this? Oh, oh, Fu oh, Fugu! This uh, worn and weather-beaten tome has all but the very last entry torn up. Is that the author intentionally destroyed all record of their prior thoughts or achievements? The final entry is written in a hurried, erratic fashion, which might call into question the author's sanity. Okay, yeah, it's this guy. Okay, he seemed uh, he's regretting um, creating this uh, theosophy. Uh, and he hates his two uh, understudies. Okay, that's why he killed himself. He was so embarrassed because those two guys are such idiots that they, like, questioned him. Or like, that made him question himself. That's pretty cool. <laughs> that's a nice little story. Except he killed himself. A sad pile of humanoid but how is a pile how is a pile of humanoid bones sad? That's even more sad. Pile of sad bones. Like why are you <laughs> why are you giving an adjective like that to like an inanimate object? That's a depressing looking chair. Why did you run over there? Look what you did. How you doing, man? Look at this guy. All smiles. Not a care in the world. 
He's got disarm for some reason. He doesn't even need it. He's just the uh, crossbow person. Okay. Adamantium helmet. Okay. That's probably useful for somebody. I got a quartz crystal though. I can take that. Even though I think that's only like one gold too. There's no point in that. I got another quartz crystal. Okay. We're getting close to the meat of this cave, which is this little corner. I wouldn't say meat, it's like the the end. Uh, black hammer shaft. Ooh! Ooh, and I just put those components inside the chest at home. Maybe I have enough. Let's find out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check after this. Okay, well, this wasn't... Um, this wasn't what I hoped. I thought there would be like a secret entrance that goes into the castle, but apparently not. Should I give this guy the book? Let's give him the book. Uh, yeah, here's a journal. My intuition. Okay, my intuition tells me this is not the writings of my former master. He would never write such things in his journal or uh, forgery or what? Oh my god. Oh wait, is is he just talking? Uh, oh no, they're just oh man, they're just recycling the. Oh damn it! Okay, well, yeah, I'm gonna leave you guys to it. So, did you guys take the book? We study birds. All right, well, see you guys. I'm not. I'm no. There's no way I'm gonna keep talking to you guys. Oh wait, there is a. Oh. Oh there, that's the entrance I was talking about. I knew something. I knew I was missing something. Okay. So how the hell do I get down there? Uh. Oh, okay, I gotta go this way. Okay. All right. Give me the secret entrance to the castle. This might just go on the other side. It might just like plop me over here. Oh wait, wait. There we go. Exactly. Oh no. No! What? This dark cape cuts deep into the towering sea close, leading to a massive well oh leading to a maze of twisty paths. Oh no. Do I need like a map or something? What does it all mean, Basil? What's all this uh, noisy racket? Well, 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 what do we have here? A poor vagabond come looking for handouts. Can't you see that Castle Exultus is besieged by an army of savages? Be gone, lest I fill you with arrows. The gatekeeper's voice has a high nasal pitch, almost as if something unpleasant is stuck in his throat. Uh. uh say, so I'll bring a message. Oh, damn it. Um. Why does he refuse? He's a, he's simply a brute. He hurls insults and threats and wears shabby clothes. Lord Felchin is always well dressed. Okay. This is like Lord Farquhar versus Shrek. Uh, yeah, let's persuade. Oh, great! That was easy. I shall bring Lord Felchin to the castle gates. If you can persuade the burn to come along at night, midnight, he can speak with uh, that's a reason. Okay. Should I persuade? <laughs> What's in this for me? Uh, sure, why not? But the old gnarled tree overlooking the sea cliffs. Where? Where is that? That? Okay. Great. That was easy. Is that how all parlays go? Is that what I mean? Is that what a parlay is? I have no idea. Either way, I think this is a win. Griswold, coming back. I set you up with the meeting. I set you up on a Tinder meeting. What do you want? Um, you should not listen to Feldrin's lies. What? Uh, no, I'm just gonna tell him. You gotta meet him at night. 
Uh, yeah, it could be a trap. Oh wait, it wait there is a cast. I mean the the bottom thing. Wait, what, what updated? Uh, oh wait, oh, oh damn it! I still wanted to go. Jeez Louise. So how do I? Um, I guess I'll come back. I know I said I was gonna try to get that hammer thing going. Actually, you know what? Let's 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 do that hammer real quick. Let me just save it here. <laughs>